a particle of mass m is acted upon by a force given by the empirical law f is equal to r by t square. If this law is to be tested experimentally by observing the motion starting from rest, the best way to plot this. So given f is equal to r by t square, right? Into v of t, into v of t. Now what is f? f is equal to ma and a is dv by dt. So f is equal to ma and dv by dt. r by t square into v of t is actually a function of t. So I'll keep dv here. I'll bring v of t to the LHS. R by T square into, I'll bring M to the RHS. So we have R by M into, instead of this T square, I'll write as 1 by T square. Okay. Now, what is integral of, let me write it here, here. So what is integral 1 by X DX is equal to, it is log X. So we have log VT here. And what is integral 1 by T square? So integral 1 by T square is equal to, or to be more precise, integral 1 by x square dx is equal to minus 1 by x. So instead of minus 1 by x, we have 1 by, uh, so instead of 1 by x square, we have 1 by t square. So instead of minus 1 by x, what we get is minus 1 by t. And if we try to understand this equation in the mathematics sense, what we have here is one constant, one variable, ln vt, we'll call that as y, is equal to m into x, which is minus 1, um, say for example, um, I'll put this minus over here, my bad, right? Okay, so now we have this is y is equal to m into x, where x is 1 by t plus c. In So we don't have c here, which means 0, right? So, so if we draw a graph with the y-axis represented as ln vt, ln vt, x-axis as 1 by t, the slope of this tangent will give, sorry, slope of this graph will give us minus r by m. And therefore, the best way to study this, uh, to, to, to plot this is to plot ln vt versus 1 by t.